Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in, much appreciated. And today we got a little bit of a uh, off the wall topic, although it has a lot to do with fishing. And that is what is the best food to take out in the boat with you? So we're gonna, I'm gonna give you my thoughts on that, sort of bounce a few ideas off it, and maybe it'll help everybody out. And first of all, I wanna address one, some a few comments that I've gotten from some, some people over the past three or four months. Um, I am not smoking weed. <laughs> I get these comments all the time about guys saying, dude, you need to lay off the weed. You know, you're getting, you're getting baked, all this type of stuff. My eyes have been red ever since I was a little kid. I don't, I've got some condition with it that my eyes are usually red. It's not weed related. I don't have anything against people that smoke weed. Smoking weed's a lot better for you than drinking alcohol, but I am not doing it. I've got kids to take care of. So I wanted to clear that up right off the bat that it's conditions my eyes have been red since I was a teenager. So anyway, let's get into the uh, food uh, prep thing here. Food prep, prep, best boat food. And um, I'm, I don't want this to sound like I'm coming off lecturing you guys how to eat. Um, I just want to give everybody uh, some tips that have worked for me. I mean, I'm almost 60 or I'll be 60 in, in November. I still feel like I'm in really good shape. I've really tried to eat healthy. My uh, actually, it's ever since, uh, you know, probably my mid twenties, I've really made a conscious effort to eat healthy. I've studied it. Um, I've, I, obviously I've got room for improvement too, but, uh, I've got a few things, a few tips I can pass along if you guys are interested in that. Um, first of all, it's like, I think a lot of us, um, that our, I think our diets for the most part have a lot to do with how, what we were raised, how we were raised, because, a lot of, if, if you were raised in a household that, that was not diet conscious or not uh, health conscious, it's very difficult for you to transcend that and break away from that, that pattern. I mean, in my case, you know, my parents didn't eat unhealthy, but they were typical, uh, you know, I, when I was, I was a kid in the 1960s and they basically ate a lot of, of the way a lot of people did back then. There wasn't like a big effort to eat super healthy although they didn't eat unhealthy. It was just like the, the, the typical American diet of, of meat and starches, that type of stuff, without a lot of awareness that goes in, you know, to nutrition beyond that. So I started studying it and I was around people when I was in my 20s and 30s that were very health conscious, very aware, and that's what got me, you know, really beyond that. So, um, I, yeah, I see this a lot. I mean, I, I see, you know, as many co-anglers that I fish with, I've seen people's eating habits, I've observed it, I've watched my own, and I've seen it all over the spectrum. You know, I've seen guys out there that, you know, eat super healthy live food on the water. I've seen guys out there, I had one dude in the last tournament, he had what he brought in the boat with him. He bought, it, it was it was fairly hot too. This was the May tournament, uh, yeah, our last May tournament, pretty warm. He bought bought a uh, a bottle of Mountain Dew, a can of Vienna sausages, and some Twinkies. So when you put that type of food in your body, you're not going to be able to perform. That's basically putting poison in your body. So what I want to do is I'll, I'll sort of go over some stuff that's worked for me. The boat food that I pack in my boat, I start out with water. I carry a gallon of water in the boat with me. I put it under the console, under my under the driver's in front of my seat under the, the, the steering wheel console, a little indentation in there. I never use ice in a boat. The reason I don't do that is I put a whole gallon of water on the floor of the boat. It stays whatever temperature the air is and it makes it a lot easier to drink. I mean, it, you know, it stays cold in the winter, in the summertime, it, it gradually gets warmer throughout the day. As long as you keep it in the shade, it doesn't get real hot. And the reason I don't use ice guys is if you use ice to put to water to uh, to basically keep your water cold, it, it doesn't encourage you to drink as much. It's harder to drink a lot, a big volume of it. And I always try in a tournament day to drink a gallon of water while I'm fishing. And I think that really helps you out a lot in a lot of different areas. Second with that, um, I usually make a almond butter and some type of organic jelly sandwich on a grainy bread. Um, there's a lot of, you know, protein, complex carbohydrates in this. It gives you energy. Um, it doesn't have a lot of uh, processed, uh, uh, you know, food in it. You know, the almond butter is natural. Natural jelly is natural. I think that's a real good energy boost for you and it'll fill you up. 
I usually take a banana and I'll cut pieces of the banana and put it, put it on that sandwich. Works that's really good like that, works out really good. In addition to that, I usually got maybe some type of nuts. Um, I usually have an apple and maybe some type of an energy bar with that. And, uh, you know, th this keeps me, you know, fueled throughout the day. I don't, uh, you know, in a tournament day, I don't really have much of an appetite in practice. I tend to eat a little bit more. But um, that's the that's pretty much the routine that I've went through a, for many many years. Sometimes I'll take you know a can of sardines out there in the boat with me. You know some some good uh, good natural oils and fats and protein with that. It really helps out. But the thing that I would just try to encourage everybody to do, and it's hard. I mean, I because I fall victim to it too. Is just try to stay away from the processed foods as much as you can. A lot of the foods that are processed has a lot of sugar, has a lot of salt in it. And um, the reason I'm saying this is um, once you break the habit of, un of unhealthy eating and uh, you feel so much better, you got so much more energy, um, you know, all your, your body functions at a lot higher level, your focus is a lot better. And I think there's a big resistance out there because, you know, people don't like to be told what to do, even if what they're doing is bad for them. They, they sort of get bullheaded and they, they, and they bull up a little bit. I've run into that a lot when I suggest people, you know, try eating a certain way. There's like some type of a, a natural resistance that clicks into that. And it's basically, well, I'm gonna eat whatever I want. Nobody's gonna tell me what to eat. That's fine if you, you know, if that's the way you wanna treat your body and have the effects of that uh, residually as you get older, you know, that's a choice everybody's free to make. But um, from my standpoint, I can tell you, tell you that system that I sort of came up with really works good for me. The thing that I will reiterate guys here is the water. You've got to consume a lot of water. So many guys I fish with just don't drink enough. I don't see them drinking hardly anything during the course of a day. And I promise you guys, if you get just a gallon of water, set it on the floor, try to drink that whole thing during the day, you will feel so much better. It will flush your body out so much better. You know, you're, it's just, it's, it's such a good thing for your body to stay hydrated on so many different levels. If I could give you one piece of advice, that was it. So anyway, that's my diet. That's what I like to eat in a boat. Um, like I said, everybody's free to eat what they want, but uh, I can tell you that your diet has a huge, in, in, has a huge impact on your moods, your health, your weight, you know, your energy levels, all that type of stuff. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed a few of those tips. Much appreciated you guys listening. Please hit that subscribe button if you haven't, and we'll be back soon. See ya.